What if I told you we could expect another win from Johnny's side? And how about the fact that Amber may never be able to appeal again? Well, looks like Amber is going paranoid with 8 million of debt to pay. Let's see what is up with her and her insane wish to win the appeal. That would be the last thing on earth to ever happen, I guarantee. She would be delusional if she thought she even has a 1% chance of winning the appeal. I mean, who is she kidding? Is there even one evidence of her that you felt believable? Ben said in an interview that she had answers for every question. And like Johnny, she never was once accountable for many brutal acts of hers. Now to the question, what's all the fuss about? You'll have to watch the video till the end. There's no escaping celebrity drama, especially Amber and Johnny's. As you know, ultimately, the verdict sided with Depp and Heard was ordered to pay over 10 million in damages. The court ordered Amber to shell out millions to her ex-husband, but what if she can't pay? Even by celebrity standards, 10 million is a massive sum of money, and there is a slight possibility for Johnny's attorneys to have said they'd waive the 8 million if she drops the appeal. And whatever little following Amber has garnered through her fake tears instantly picked up on this and started twisting it. Their comments went from how Johnny feared he'd lose if Amber went for an appeal to how the US verdict was biased. Well, there's no end to stupidity, and Johnny is not the one to fall for it. He clearly showed her supporters how Amber could even stand a chance against him. Let's dive deep into this, shall we? Although he has won the lawsuit, her dropping the appeal would more deeply signify that he was 100% telling the truth. This move might seem shady to outside opinions, but all our man has ever wanted to do was tell the truth. That is the sentiment that he and his legal counsel have claimed from the start of the trial. If this claim that Johnny Depp would drop the damages is true, then Amber Heard has a much larger decision to make. She would need to accept defamation guilt fully and not pay $8.35 million in damages. Or she can continue to fight this case and possibly drag it out for another loss, depending on how the court sees it. Both had claimed to move on despite the decision made in court, and it appears that Heard is not living up to that claim. Heard would have to prove that the judge made a serious error and made the trial unfair to her as part of any possible appeal. An appellate court does not review the credibility of the witness or any facts mentioned during the trial. It does not second-guess the jury's determination as to which testimony is credible or not. It only reviews the judge's actions and rulings during the case. Therefore, overturning the decision and ordering a new trial is only possible if the appellate court finds that the judge improperly excluded evidence that affected the outcome of the case. Amber's lawyer said, The court found there, and we weren't allowed to tell the jury this, that Mr. Depp had committed a 12 acts of domestic violence, including violence against Amber. This would be through and through an utter failure for Amber if she ever bases her appeal on the UK court's verdict. There is evidence that the verdict by Judge Nickel was biased, considering how Amber had links with members close to the judge. Los Angeles-based defamation and appellate lawyer Jeff Lewis told NBC News, it's absolutely a long shot. Anywhere between 70 to 90% of all appeals result in no change in the judgment. Johnny Depp's fans want him to collect damages, but if they do want to enforce the judgment, that starts a whole separate process in the court of potentially attaching property, setting up the ways it has to be paid. Interesting. What did Amber Heard's lawyer say about not being able to pay? Shortly after the verdict was revealed to the public, Amber Heard's attorney Elaine Bredehoft appeared on Today to address the trial. When asked if her client would be able to pay a whopping $10 million to Johnny Depp, she quickly responded with, Oh no, absolutely not. That seems pretty cut and dry. So if Johnny Depp and his team seek that sum of money, there are a number of ways the verdict could be carried out. This includes her future earnings going directly to Depp, a payment plan, and possibly seizure of any property she might have. But is that actually what Johnny plans to do? What did Johnny Depp's lawyer say about Amber Heard not being able to pay? Throughout the course of the defamation trial, Johnny Depp and his legal team insisted that their case wasn't ultimately about money. Well, there you have it. If these comments are any indication, perhaps Amber Heard won't actually have to attempt to pay Johnny Depp millions of dollars. Although if she attempts to appeal the decision, this potential deal could be off the table. The stakes are still very high. This would be more in favor of Depp only, and he could always appeal the UK court verdict since we now have all the evidence. We'll have to see how things turn out in the coming weeks. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.